So let's recap. We need, to, we need to differentiate between the corporate tyranny we're living under and the free markets that we desire to better humanity. We need to be a conservative movement that values things that matter, that are beautiful, and that are eternal, and that are transcendent. That's the second thing. Which also means we must be unafraid to sometimes pick the tough fights. For example, when the governor of Arkansas says that it's a conservative position to allow children to chemically castrate themselves, we as conservatives say, no, that is not a conservative position, and the conservative movement will not tolerate the castration of our children under any circumstances whatsoever. We're not going to put up with that. The third thing, know your stuff. Remember this, a wise man loves to be corrected. Nothing bothers me more than when I see someone who's 20 years old and they think they got it all figured out. You should desire to be corrected. Try to replace truth with error. Learn something new every single day. Commit yourselves to turning off your phone and reading a book or reading something of value that you can actually dive into. The fourth thing, do not conform. Do not conform. All of you are going to go through that Ash conformity test. Every single one of you. When you go back to school this college, do not conform. The final thing, play offense and take ground. You are in this unique position where the biggest threat to the left is you. They want you to be scared, intimidated. They want you to feel weak, mocked, ridiculed, and alone, and definitely afraid. But they are afraid of all of a sudden of a young, diverse, organized movement rising up out of nowhere and saying, we're here to take our country back and we're not going to conform, and we're going to play offense, and we are going to take ground. And that is my charge for all of you after these last couple days. CEO of Turning Point USA, if you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.